In most cases in Ghana, especially when you go to the villages, parents with these children hide them. They feel shy that your, your, your child is either a cripple or a blind or a deaf. Why? Because they have a wrong perception that they are okay. People think because of their evil doings or sins they have committed, that is why the gods are punishing them. So they have a big problem educating them. And if we parents bring within their, to their reach all that they will need, the children will need to facilitate their education, oh, they can do exactly as the able children would do. So in fact, my organization really loved them just as God loved them. We don't discriminate against them. We love them, go to villages and bring them to schools. Approximately 10% of the Ghanaian population, more than 2 million people, have some sort of physical disability. According to UNESCO, 97% of these children never attend school. Many of them are abandoned by their family and end up begging on the streets. Mr. Odum and his NGO Friends of the Handicap International are fighting to educate these kids one child at a time. He personally visits all of his sponsored children in their villages. He travels on very bad and life-threatening roads to these villages where his sponsored children live. The girl we are visiting today is cared for by her blind grandmother after she was raped. She is deaf and has a two-year-old son. That, that boy took advantage of her, raped her, and when he, he came back to school, the, the teachers saw that the girl was pregnant. And see, a bit say, I won't need you. You bet say, I have a boy friend. No, I had then. You mean say, ne ba ne 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 pa pan ne kun awa hin. Ne kun awa 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 kwa ngkra. Na la wa shi ne kula nti awa kwa ngkra. Wa kwa ya bu ni ba bu ni wa di mo wa. Ni na wa ba mo wa. No <laughs> A lady like this, she has been taking care of the child and, and, and the grand, grand. Mm -hmm. We thank God that uh, the, the, the child is, 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 uh, is hearing. <laughs> Normally, the, my children say the deaf are saying that we discriminate against them in, in, their, in their houses or in their homes. They complain that we, the parents cannot interact with them. And there are so many things they wish to share with the parents. The parents cannot. But you see the parents sharing with their able I mean siblings, which of course they feel very sad deep within them, especially the deaf. For over 15 years, Mr. Odum has been traveling to villages all over southern Ghana, sponsoring children to attend Cape Coast School for the Deaf and other schools for the handicapped. His efforts are great, but sometimes the cultural stigmas are too much for a family to bear, despite the NGO's financial help. Samuel Ansa is 13 years old and has never been to school because he is deaf. Afri, ya ba ha, ma ami demi, ma ba ba ya fi, enuma ne seni, wo Afri ni yam. 
Ugwa, and then what school? I had schools I was heading in and I could be on it. Six, eight, Malacan, nine. Nine, nine, I can't. No, obey me. Yes, no cry. In I was from the day. Oh, my. You know, he, my son, and that's it. This is how I feel you could be. Feel you. And say, Madame Pok, my cry. And shall be flow away into your own sick room. Miss Cassamina. So I'll pass on your bed, man. I'm a pure cottage. Okay, Kenda Mammy, may I mean could say the Mindentum? Cra Mindentum, cra, 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 I feel it. Yeah, they jump. You don't want to So next time, you have a banana free. In front of Koya, you know, by police, a social welfare asam, police station asam. Since ra, I'm a mauba oti. We are school. No, you mumu nanti. Oda mo tifin. Ono ya a boka ke ya no police station. Well, this is the problem you've been facing. Most of the parents. Most of the parents. Are not helping them. We who have been helping them. Just look at this. Parents do not want their or the public to know that they have brought forth the children like that. So they hide them and they don't want to bring them up. And even some parents, when you look at the Ghana National Disability Document. It even said it that uh, there are some parents who sometimes, uh, when they see that their children are either crippled or blind or deaf, they shorten their lives simply because they don't want to other people to know that they have brought uh, 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 children like that into the world. Ghana is taking steps towards equality for people with physical disabilities. But Kofi Odum and his NGO can't change the country alone. The Ghanaian parliament has been working on the Disability Act for several years now, but greater efforts will be needed to overcome cultural stereotypes against the handicapped, especially within their own families for society to really change and give these children the future they deserve.